when angels deserve to die! Hey friends, I thought we would do something a little bit different today. We're going to be looking at System of a Down, Chop Suey, but instead of doing your typical vocal reaction, we have gotten our hands on the stems of this particular song and we're going to do a multi-track analysis. What we're going to do is isolate some of those tracks that make up the song that you know and love so well so that we can really get to understand what makes that song so great. Sound good? Let's get started. I think I've seen this video clip before. This would be interesting. Good in this song. Oh, that tremolo on the guitar there. Yes. I just want to be much better for this. This looks like so much fun. It is so hard to stop at this point because this song is literally a roller coaster from start to finish. But Serge's vocals in this particular song are absolutely phenomenal, and I want to show you why. So I've got the vocal tracks here. I'm going to play you them just in isolation. Have a listen. Wake up! Wake up! Grab brush and put a little makeup. I just got to fade away the shake up. Why'd you leave the keys up on the table? So over the top, you've got Serge's lead vocal, which is obviously the really well-known part. You know, wake up! Grab a brush and put a little makeup. Underneath that, we've got those whispers that are adding something really special to the vocals here. Wake up. I just got to fade away the shake up. I think that's a really, really cool effect because what that kind of does, if you listen to that whisper in isolation, it's almost like an ASMR kind of thing. Like, you know, when someone whispers in your ear and you get that really lovely sort of shivery feeling and you feel all nice and warm and fuzzy. So they've thrown that in the mix to kind of trick you into thinking that maybe maybe it's going to be a nice woman fuzzy moment but then over the top at the exact same time they've got this really angry surge just like kind of slapping you in the face in the middle of it so it kind of feels like to me like i'm being shaken back and forth between like a really lovely sensation and a bit of like a, a volatile situation and i think it really contributes to that whole sensation of why this song really feels like a roller coaster ride to me like i literally don't know what's going on in this song, even though I've listened to it quite a few times. So now I'm going to jump back to the song. Serge's breath control in this song is absolutely phenomenal and it's particularly evident in this part of the song. I am going to show you just his lead vocal. Here, Here you go create another fable! You wanted to! Grab a brush and put a little makeup! You wanted to! I just got the fade away the shake up! You wanted to! Why'd you leave the kiss up on the table? You wanted to! Why well, don't think you trust? That was wild, right? If you had told me, hey, Christina, I've got the vocal tracks for Chop Suey, and you'd say, what do you think is on one particular track and what's on another? Serge's vocal line would be that, wake up, grab a brush and put a little makeup. And then on a separate track, they would have had the, you wanted to, you wanted to. Because breath control wise, it's so tricky to be able to do all of that as one voice. Grab a brush and put a little makeup, you wanted to, put a little bit of makeup, you wanted to. Really, really hard. But he does that in one, in one vocal take, which is kind of wild. And then on top of that, he goes from the verse component into the I don't think you trust in my in one breath. Why'd you leave the kiss up on the table? You wanted to. Why well, I don't think you trust in. He doesn't really breathe there. Or if he does, he takes the quickest possible micro breath so he doesn't get out of time. It's absolutely wild. 
So underneath what's happening in that chorus, there are some great backing vocals coming from Darren. He's really sort of supporting Serge's sound. Uh, we're just going to have a listen to Darren's backing vocals just by himself. Just I really love the combination of Serge and Darren's vocal qualities combined. I think they're very, very different and, and somehow blend really, really well despite their differences. Serge has this really uh, bright forward placement in his sound. He's got a lot of twang in his voice. So he could sing that chorus uh, like this. I don't think you trust in my... Right? Or with twang, I don't think you trust in my self-righteous suicide, right? Huge, huge difference. So that's what makes Serge's sound so unique, that twang. It's very, very angular and very bright. Whereas Darren underneath is doing something very, very different and he's kind of taking it out. He's taking that twang out. Trust in my really stripped back and plain, but it supports Serge's vocal. Why not think you trust The other thing that I really love is there's such clean breaks between sections. That particular part, you've got those two vocals. You've got Serge, you've got Darren. Darren, I don't think, and then Serge, I don't think you trust, right? Then Darren disappears out of the mix straight away, really cleanly, really aggressively. Like suddenly there's nothing and then all of a sudden there's this really loud spike because that's Serge kind of coming in and going, DIE! I cry when angels deserve to die. That's what makes, I think, System of a Down so unique and immediately recognisable. It's these big contrasts between loud, extremely loud, in music language, say, fortissimo, really super, super loud, to suddenly nothing, complete silence. Super, super loud, suddenly nothing. They're an all or nothing band. They don't really do things by halves. They don't use gradually getting louder. They don't use crescendos. They don't use decrescendos, gradually getting softer. And the other thing that they're doing here is we didn't have any backing vocal here until this point for the chorus. Why not think you trust in my self Why do they do that? Well, it's a pretty common technique in songs when you're trying to emphasize a particular line or really make a part of a song stand out, then you add a bit of backing vocal to it. It's almost like the equivalent of putting an underline, you know, on a text just to like really emphasize the point. <laughs> There are so many layers to this song, it's actually a bit mind-boggling. I want to draw your attention to a couple that are happening throughout, but in this particular chorus too. You want it to! You want it to! You want it to! Some strings there. You want it to! Just oh. So there are obviously beautiful strings there, doing that really agitated back and forth to create tension. Then we have that beautiful like tremolo in the guitar going on. I think it's just a normal guitar, but they're making it sound very much like a, 
a mandolin or even a Greek like bazooki, these type of instruments that which is a really, really cool and interesting color and really not what you would expect to hear in this type of this in this genre of music. It's quite out there. It's pretty zany to be honest. Like, oh let's just throw in some strings. Oh yeah, but also like while I've got those strings, let's just like evoke, you know, summertime in Naples. But that's system of a down for you, I think, just, you know, like really off the wall choices. On top of those really interesting layers from the strings and the guitars, there's also another layer on top of that. Tell me if you can hear other voices, other voices beside Darren and Serge here. Can you hear any voices there? I'll show you, have a listen to this. So I'm soloing that track there. So we've got a whole track there just for a crowd. And what I think is really, really clever about that is again, they're choosing to use that crowd effect only for the parts that they really want to emphasize and underline, which are the choruses. Makes sense. It's making you as an audience member want to sing. Because when a whole crowd of people are kind of like tunelessly, drunkenly singing along to something, you're much more compelled to join in than when someone's singing really beautifully and well, right? And this is a really common effect that you see in a lot of songs where they'll add that kind of crowd effect to kind of make it feel more like a song that's really an anthem and something that everyone should join in with. And they've achieved that. They could have probably gotten a beautiful choir, like a beautiful, I don't know, all these boys sopranos singing perfectly. I don't think you trust in my, or whatever, right? But they chose, like, nah, we're not going to do that. We're going to make it deliberately a bit sloppy, I suppose, for want of a better word. It, it really does feel like a drunken sing-along. You'll notice that people are kind of like out of time. Some people are bringing in the consonants a bit early. Some people are bringing them in a bit later. Someone's like completely off the note entirely in there, like quite out of tune, but put them all together and it really does conjure up that sort of feeling of this is an anthem. This is a stadium rock song. I want to sing along to this. Why not? Double time, as you do. This section, I have to show you what's happening underneath for those fathers. It is absolutely wild. That's messed up. I actually don't even know how he's making that sound. It, it sounds like such a distressed, almost like a, a cry of anguish as if someone's like literally destroying your family in front of you or something. It's just so painful to hear, which is obviously deliberate. You can hear a whisper underneath that as well, just to add to the creepy factor. So on top of the, ah, there's a like Voldemort or something just lurking in the background. <laughs> Listen to that in the mix with everything else. Wow. 
wild. So, so wild. This is a really clever part just from a songwriting perspective because you've got that really powerful emotive line, you know, Father into your hands, I commend my spirit, why have you forsaken me? Which actually, if I'm being a bit of a nerd, I'm pretty sure that's the line that Jesus says when he's on the cross and he's about to die, Lord, why have you forsaken me? But what is really cool is you've got that shift in time where it's like really like almost like double dutch, really, really fast, and then they bring that back into this churning feeling in the stomach vibe. And then out of nowhere, you go, in your eyes forsaken me, in your eyes forsaken me. This really like circular hypnotic kind of vocal line. And then underneath that, out of nowhere, they bring in the main theme. Trust in my self-righteous suicide. They don't do it with the vocals, but they do it with the instrumentation. And then they bring it in. Layers overlapping. Really, really clever writing. There's actually some wild instrumentation happening that you kind of don't notice until you isolate it and peel back those layers. So let's have a look. This is again that final chorus. There's a lot happening with the guitars there. You can hear um, obviously that tremolo sort of continuing there. There's also I think like someone sort of plucking at the, the bridge of the guitar to kind of create that really sort of very, very high ting, 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 sort of tinkly quality. So all of these extra instruments are being added to that final chorus to really give it that push. Get the piano now. Those are the stems of Chop Suey. What makes music really unique as an art form is that it's really the only art form where we can really go back and start peeling the layers back and really revealing what's happening. How do each of these individual parts add up to make a whole? We can't do that with the painting. We can't take off the first layer of paint and sort of peel it back, but we can with music. And it's really fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if there are any other songs that you'd like me to analyze in this way. We've got a few stems few more coming your way but if you have any recommendations we will definitely take them on board as always don't forget to like comment subscribe do all of the things because that's what helps the channel keep going thank you so much for watching bye